Hello fellow travelers, my name is SG and welcome to the channel. This is my first real video other than the introduction I did on uh, Monday. So I hope you enjoy and this is going to be part of a ongoing series of me reading poetry and talking about what they are about. So I hope you enjoy and let's get started. Introduction by Grandma Poe Romance, who loves to nod and sing With drowsy head and folded wing Among the green leaves as they shake Far down within some shadowy lake To me a painted baroquet Hath been a most familiar bird Taught me my alphabet to say To lisp my very earliest word While in the wild wood I did lie A child with a most knowing eye Succeeding years too wild for song then rolled like tropic storms along, where through the garnished lights that fly, dying along the troubled sky, lay bare through vistas, thunder riven, the blackness of the general heaven. The very blackness yet doth fling light on the lightning's silver wing. For being an idle boy, Langsine, who read the Necreon and drank wine, I early found the Necreon rhymes were almost passionate sometimes, and by strange alchemy of brain, his pleasures always turn to pain, his naivety to wild desire, his wit to love, his wine to fire. And so, being young and dipped in folly, I fell in love with melancholy, and used to throw my earthly rest, and quiet all away in jest. I could not love except where death was mingling his with beauty's breath, or him, time, and destiny were stalking between her and me. Oh, then, the eternal condor years, so shook the very heavens on high. With tumult as they thundered by, I had no time for idle cares. Through gazing on the ununique sky, or if an hour with calmer wing, its down did on my spirit fling, that little hour with lyre and rhyme, to while away forbidden thing. My heart hath feared to be a crime, unless it trembled with the string. But now my soul hath too much room, Gone are the glory and the gloom, My black hath mellowed into grey, And all my fires are fading away. My drought of passion hath been deep, I reveled and now would sleep, And after drunkenness of soul, Succeeds the glories of the bowl, An idle longing night and day, To dream my very life away. But dreams of those who dream as I, aspiring are damned and die. Yet should I swear I mean alone, by notes so very shrilly blown, to break upon time's monotone, while yet my vapid joy and grief are tintless of the yellow leaf. Why not an imp the gray beard hath, will shake his shadow in my path, and even the gray beard will overlook conniving my dreaming book. All right, now that we've actually read the poem let's talk about its meaning and what it possibly has in store for his future well our past apparently anyway um remember this is all just my opinion uh, some of you may have your own please leave it down in the comment what you think it is and i would love to hear your guys' opinion thank you anyway this poem obviously is like the title states his introduction to us it's kind of like him saying what his life is like from when he's young to pretty much how he thinks it will be because we see several instances where he talks about uh, succeeding years meaning years past or when he's a child he saw a familiar bird that helped him learn the alphabet S such as things like that we also get an idea of like when he was a boy what he would read and it was a necreon now, for those who don't know, Anacreon is an, an ancient Greek uh, lyricist who lived in the 16th century and was known for his dramas more than anything. Of course, he was also highly known for his uh, drinking songs and such, but he was a poet by today's standards, but by then he was more of a, a singing lyricist. In fact, we get another reference to him later on when he talks about Lyre which is um, one of Anacreon's poems, one of his most famous ones, ones that really does require to be sung, more like a drinking song more than anything. Anyway, throughout the song we hear about love, 
loss. And for the ending of it all, we hear Condor years, meaning the ending of his years. This idea that he feels that it's coming to an end. That he feels that he was always on the go, always trying to learn more, trying to be more than he actually was. Remember at this time, Edgar Allan Poe was not the famous poet we all know him as. He was young, headstrong, and trying to make a name for himself. It wasn't until he actually passed that we actually knew he became famous. And that's only because he passed. Which is sad, but that's how it goes sometimes. He talks about, as he got older, he feels everything was kind of dulling for him. He said, gone are the glory and the gloom. The black hath mellowed into gray, and all the fires are fading away. Many, he feels that his passion for the art is kind of dying out, or that he feels he's kind of losing that momentum. A momentum that he always never gave up. As we see earlier, or in an hour with Kamra Wing, it's downed on my spirit fling, that little hour with lyre and rhyme, to while away forbidden thing. That can obviously be interpreted as saying that he could not rest. It had to be poetry. He loved it so much that he wanted to keep it going. He wanted to... A moment past is a moment wasted situation. He did not want to surrender that for anything. And at the very end of this poem, he says, But dreams of those who dream as I, aspiring are damned and die. Like I like stated before, he was not a success at his time. He feels that it was a wasted effort on his end, maybe. That maybe he was a dreamer. And dreamers rarely achieve all of their goals. Unknowing to him that he would achieve his goal. Just not. So all in all, this poem acts as both an introduction to Edgar Allan Poe. But at the same time, his send-off. Which is interesting. And that's the charm of this poem, I think. And a good starting point to this channel, I think. This is a good introductory piece to what we will be discussing. The, I will be reading poems from this point on, songs and such, but I will also be offering a small explanation, at least on my point of view from all this. And like I stated at the beginning, these are just my opinions. These might not be what the writers intended, nor what you perceive. And as I said, I would love to hear all your opinions down in the comment section. Please leave it down below. And I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope this was not a bad first start. And thank you and have a nice day.